Hello and welcome to another video. We're going to be finishing up the JavaScript challenge today and we're going to be doing nested array generator. So in this problem, you're given a multi-dimensional array of integers, return a generator object which yields integers in the same order as the in-order traversal. A multi-dimensional array is a recursive data structure that can turn, contains both integers and other multi-dimensional arrays. And we need to traverse left to right, yield any integers it encounters, encounters and apply in-order traversal to every array. Okay, so Let's read this. So we are yielding any integer we encounter and we will apply inward traversal to any array. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. So let's, let's think about how we would do this recursively, right? So let's just start off with that. Let's say we have this example and we have an array like this. And we have one more thing here. So one, three, Okay, so how would we, we how would we do this essentially? Like like what what would we do? Well, it is pretty straightforward. So what we can do is anytime we encounter an element, we can just yield to it. So let's just say or not yield to it, we can just recurse, right? So let's just draw this in a different color. Show you what I mean here. So let's say we are encountering an element, right? So the first element we're gonna encounter is right over here. It's gonna be this array here. We're gonna encounter this and we're gonna say, okay, let's just recurse to whatever we have. So let's just recurse down to this array here and let's just do that. Okay, so we do that. Then we're gonna say, let's change this to another color. So now we are in this array. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go through the array and every element we find, we're gonna recurse unless the base case is going to be it's not an array, just a number. So let's see what that looks like. So now we are actually in this array. And now the first element we find is going to be this array here. And we're going to say, OK, let's just recurse again, because it's not an element. Let's just recurse. So then let's say we're in here. And then we're going to say, OK, that's a number. So we don't need to recurse. We can just print it or whatever. We can push it to our result. Let's say we have this result array here, right? So we can say, OK, let's just push it to the result. And because we, we encountered a number instead of an array, we don't need to recurse. Let's just push that number and let's return, right? So then we will return and then we will be outside here. And so there are no more numbers in this array. So we're going to return out of here too. And now we are back and we returned out of this array. Now we're in this array again. Okay, now we go, we keep going. We encounter another element and we say, okay, this, we have a new element, let's recurse. So now, we make this blue again, and we have a new element. We recursed into this array, right? Now we're, now we're actually in this array, and now we find a new element. So that's going to be this element here. And then we're going to say, okay, we found a new element. Let's recurse. And then finally, now that we actually got this element, we're going to recurse into this element, into this one. And then we're going to say, okay, well, we found a one. We are in the one. It's not an array. Let's just add it to our output. So we're going to add the one here. Now we're going to return back to this array, right? So we're back to this array here. And then, so let me actually use this color and then let's do a, so we're actually back in this array. Now we're going to go to this element and we're going to say, okay, let's, let's recurse again, right? We were in this array. So really, I think these colors are a bit off. Essentially, this green is we were in the array and then we're traversing through it. So as soon as we're in this big array, and we hit, let me actually try and draw this a little bit better. So our first like level is iterating through this whole thing. And then once we hit this array, we're cursing into it. And then once we hit the one, we're cursing into it again, essentially, is what we're doing. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. So let's get rid of you know that. Now we we printed the one. Now where are we at? We're actually in this array here, right? And now we hit a three. So we hit a three and we want to recurse into the three. So we're essentially just recursing into every single element we find. And then if we're just checking if it's an array and if it, or it's an element, if it's an array, we're going to loop through it. And every element we'll find, we're going to recurse into it. And if it's an element, we're just going to print it and then return. There's other ways to do this, but this is just the way that I'm showing here. So then we're in this three, it's not an array, it's an element. So we're just going to print here. Now we're going to recurse out. And so, now we are back in this array and now we have no more elements. So we're going to recurse out, right? Now we are in our original, original traversal. We, we hit this array. So we're going to recurse into it. 
And now as we're traversing, we see there's nothing in there, so we're not gonna do anything. Like there, it's not a it's not a value, but it's an empty array. So when we try to loop through it, there's nothing there. And then we finally recurse out again. So now we are here, and then we're done with this traversal, and we're done. And so this is like our output. But now we're asked instead of this, we need to be yielding. So the code is going to be the same. We just need to figure out like instead of recursing, how do we yield? So let's write down our recursive code, just like our base case and things like that. So our recursive code is look at the array. If it's a number, just push it and return. If it's an array, let's loop through it and recurse into every element we find. The other way to do this, obviously, you could you could you could loop through your array. Or you, you could check for the number or something, or you could loop through your array. And then if it's a number in the array, you don't really need to recur, so you can just add, you can just like yield the number. But this works too. So either one, there's like a bunch of ways to do this. But essentially that's what we're doing. So this is like, this would be if we just had a recursive function. Now how do we change this to be a yield generator function? So it's pretty similar, and the code is all the same, except for now instead of pushing, we just yield, right? So instead of pushing here, we yield. And to recurse, you can recurse from generator to generator by simply writing uh, yield star to whatever, whatever you're yielding to. And essentially what that will do is that will go inside the next function and then that'll print all those values and then it will come out of it just like a normal recursive function. So it'll work exactly the same way as a recursive function, it's, it's, but instead of pushing, we're just saying like, hey, let's recurse into this function instead. And, th and then as, as long as that function has values, let's keep yielding those. And once that's done, let's come back to where we were at originally. And so we can actually, we have enough to code it up, so let's do that. So what's our base case? Our base case if not array, and like I said, there's, there's a few ways to do this, but this is one of them. So if this is not an array, then we're going to yield the value. So we're going to yield it. And then we're going to return, right? We're, we're done with that function. And then this should be the function that's going to recurse. We're going to recurse out of here into something else. Otherwise, what we need to do is we need to loop through the array. So we could say like for let item of array. And then we can say, you could also do a normal for loop, whatever you prefer. You could say, OK, as, as long as there's an item, let's just keep recursing into those. So the way you would do this is you would say yield star. And then you would say in order traversal of item. And this is literally the same thing as a normal recursive function, except think of think of, you know, if we had some array out here, array equals something, and we were, you know, actually it would be more like out here. Instead of yielding, we would just be pushing here, and then all the code would be the same, right? So instead of yielding, we would just be pushing to the array and then we would be returning, and then here we would just call this function recursively. Instead of yielding, we would just say in order traversal. But it's all the same like layout and flow over recursal function. Recursive function, it's gonna work all the same way. So now that we yielded to this recursive function, it's gonna go until there's nothing left, then it'll come back, then it'll keep doing this. And we're gonna be yielding to every single element we find, and then finally we're gonna return. So let's try that. Okay, so that does work. Now there is another way to do it. There's a few more ways to do it. I'm going to show you one more, but this kind of defeats the purpose of a generator. So what you could also do is you can actually just make a flattened array, right? So if you have something like this, you can actually just call like array dot flat on it, on it, and then flat takes the array and it also takes how far you want it to flat. So you can just give it some really big number, and essentially what that'll do is it'll flatten it all the way. So the, the, the number it takes is like the number of levels you want it to flatten. So if you, let's say your array was like 10 levels deep and you only gave it eight, it would only flatten eight levels deep and leave everything as an array. But essentially you could say like constant res equals r dot flat. And then you can give it some number. I think it's like infinity or something in JavaScript. I think this works. So if you give it infinity, it'll essentially flatten it all the way. And then you can just say for let item of res, let's just yield that because now we actually have all of the, this is like a flattened array now essentially. But this is not great because the whole point of a generator is you are getting these numbers on the fly. So this is going to be really good with like a data stream where, you know, you can just be get, getting more and more and more data 
where this kind of defeats the purpose of a generator, right? Like we're creating an array with all our outputs, so what's the point of using a generator? Let's see what we have here. Um, oh, we need to yield the item. Yeah, there's, there's other ways to do this. You could use like a stack or whatever, but the whole point of this was just how to show how to recurse in a generator works exactly the same way as a normal recursive function. Only you type this yield star and then you can have whatever function you want and then it will, you know, it will go into that instead. All right, so that's gonna be it for this problem. And yeah, so they're saying, well, let's create, solve it without creating a new flattened version. So that's what we did. That's gonna be it for this problem. Hopefully you liked it. And now we are done with the JavaScript. So now I'm gonna be going back into just Python, maybe do a few more problems because, you know, Python problems are easier for me and, you know, it's not as much new stuff. So if you like this video, please like it and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in more Python videos in the future. Thanks for watching.